Hey guys, welcome to the video. I'm Braden, and in this video, we're going to talk about how to assemble the Draco Diff Case 2023. So, I will be assembling this diff as a center diff for my Savage and Super 5SC Flux, but the process is pretty much the same as the front or rear diff. Um, just a few components are different the outdrives and the gear. But um, I will go into more detail as I go through the assembly and talk more about which components are different. Yeah, so I will cover both front and rear diff and center diff assemblies in this video, okay? All right, so let's begin. Okay, so the tools you will need for this assembly is a two millimeter wrench, uh, long nose pliers to install these small pins into the outdrives. You will need some grease uh, to grease up the outdrives when you put them into the diff case. Some blue Loctite, in this case 243, and some silicone oil. I'm using 1 million CST in my center diff. But uh, I use 100,000 or 200,000 weight in my front and rear diffs. Uh, usually 200,000 in the front and 100,000 in the rear, but uh, that's my Savage and Super 5SC Flux. You can, you can of course, customize your, your weight of oil as you see fit. Okay, so you will also need your exploded view, uh, which I've included in your, in your package. Um, please make sure that you add these shims one on each side, it's very important. Um, I had uh, some gears fail because I didn't have these shims. So with my diff case, it's important to have both to keep the gears uh, meshed correctly. Okay, so make sure you do that. All right, and when you receive the diff case, um, you must disassemble uh, or unscrew these screws and add Loctite, as I've mentioned above here. Um, this is also available on my website, um, you can download the PDF, but everybody will receive a hard copy in their package. Okay? Alright, so that's everything you need. Um, let's begin the assembly. So the Draco diff will come like this, depending on how many you order, you will have them in the bag. Uh, for this for this time, it's just one. Um, you have all this, um, you have four screws installed on the cap side, but these four are for the gear side. And you have eight pins, plus I added an extra one just in case. Right. Okay, so first I usually start with the gear side. So I'm going to assemble the gear and out drives. Now, again, uh, this is a center diff for my Savage or, or and Super 5S C Flux. Um, I use all diffs in both vehicles, so I just swap them over, just for testing purposes, so I can get as many packs through them as possible. Right, so first I'm going to grab the gear and the outdrive, and um, I'm going to grease the outdrive. So grab the grease, I'm going to use a plastic, this plastic thing here to put it on. Um, so this goes through the gear, so as you can see it goes right up to this hole, so I'll spread it across here. And then before I put the O-rings in, I'm going to slide in the uh, slide in the outdrive, spread the grease around a little bit. Okay, right. So um, because this is a center diff, it's just a little different. I'm going to put the shims on there first, then the bearing. Right. Then I'm going to grab the bearing on the gear side 
and put this through. All right. Okay, so now I'm going to put the O-ring on and the gasket. Okay. Just make sure this is pushed down flush. Right, and then, so if you were using the uh, front or rear diff, you must put a shim, a large shim on this side. But in the center diff, I do not use a shim on this side. Okay, so depending on what you're building, um, it will be different. So this is the front or rear Savage or Super 5SC gear. This is the center gear. This is actually my gear, uh, the Draco 56 tooth gear. All right. And then next, you will put in the pin. Okay. And once again, with the front or rear diff gear, you'll have this shim. All right, so now you can put that aside and we can start on the diff case side. So. I'm going to leave this assembled for now. This is just the way I prefer to do it. Um, it's just a little easy to handle. Um, the pin always falls out if I have just the cap without the case. So I prefer this way. Um, but when you receive it, please make sure that this gasket is pushed flush against the, um, the cap. Um, it is a bit tight against the cap so make sure it's flush so it doesn't affect the position of the cap All right okay so i'm going to pull if i can pull the o-ring out yep i'm going to re repeat the process um going to grease the out drive put it through here so to again grab the plastic thing Okay, just like that. Make sure it's all around. All right, and then put it through without the O-ring in. Oh yeah, it's here. Very nice tight fit. Okay, spread it around. Maybe remove the access from here. Yep, okay. Now, um, I already know the shims I need for this setup, so I'm just going to put these on. But I recommend putting some shims on your diff case on the cap side and the gear side. Um, maybe one or two. You may ha have an idea, so just put something on there, and we are going to assemble this without putting oil in it. And then you can test fit it into your bulkhead or center diff mount to check the shimming. But I'll get into that a little later. Um, I do have a video on how to shim your diffs. Um, I'll put that in the description. Okay, so let's continue. So I've got the shims on. So now I'm going to put the bearing on. Oh, and don't forget this side these shims on the out drive. So this is from the Draco Center Diff Set. Um, I have bearing supported out drives. Yeah, all right, and then put this through. Okay, so on this side, I'm going to put a large shim. And as you can see, the old shim I took off is a little bent. So I'm going to replace it. This is a little used, but it'll, it should be fine. Oh, ooh, don't forget the O-ring. Put that on first. Use the pliers. There we go. Okay, and large shim. All right, and pin. Use the pliers.
little fiddly through there. Okay. And then push it down. Okay. Right. So now I'm going to put the gears in. So these are used, obviously. Um, these have probably over 60 packs on them. Um, so they've held up very well. Put that in. There we go. And then, so the pins do not go in yet. They will go in after I've put in the small spider gears. Right, so there are two ways you could do this. Uh, make sure you assemble the small gears onto the shaft. And then, of course, you must have these shims on here. Yeah, four by 10 shims, I believe. Uh, 0.15 millimeters thick. Yeah, so you could uh, drop this in as one pair, or you could put, you could assemble these like this, and then drop it in this way. Sometimes this is better. Make sure they all have shims, of course, and then push it in. Okay, just like that. All right. Now you can slide in the pins. So my previous diff case, this was very deformed and these pins would not go in with the gears inside. So they had to be remade. Now the previous one was machined on the CNC machine. So it had a really nice finish, but unfortunately because of the thickness or the lack of thickness here, when it was being machined, it deformed the part. So yeah, unfortunately I had to get it remade. Um, so this one's using EDM or wire EDM, which, uh, you know, it puts more, it puts less load on the part. So yeah, much better, but unfortunately the surface finish is not as good, but it's still the same quality. All right, put that in there. Keep going around. So in my rear diff case that I currently am testing, I have, I believe, 62 packs through it. And these pins have very, very little wear. There is a little wear on these shafts only. Um, but yeah, it seems to be holding up very well. Okay, just like that. Right, and then we'll put the top one in. So um, I'm going to assemble this dry uh, just to check shimmy, make sure it's okay. Otherwise you have the oil in there and then you have to take everything apart. It's a bit messy. So it's best to check or test fit your diff into your mount, your bulkhead or your center diff mount and check how it fits. Add a shim, take a shim and so on. But yeah, uh, if you watch my video, you will see how to do that. All right, so now I've got that. I'm going to fit the gear, just like that. All right, and then put my screws in. So I am thinking about remaking the Draco Center Div set, but it would depend on how many people are interested so if you are interested please leave a comment and this will indicate to me how how many people are keen and I can judge whether it's worth it or not okay all right so put these in I still have information on my website about the center to set so please check that out if you're if you're not sure what it is, um, yeah, I'll have a link in the description. Right, so I've tightened everything up. Okay, ooh, very smooth.
make sure you it moves equally from both out drives. So spin each out drive to check both directions. Yeah, very smooth. Okay, so I'm going to test fit this into my mount to make sure it's okay. Then I'll be back to fill it up with oil. Okay, so let's let's um, continue. So I fitted the diff into the center mount, center diff mount, and everything's perfect. So I don't need to adjust the shims. So um, now it's a good time to fill it with oil, but. Before I do that, I'm going to lock tight these four screws. So I'm going to pull them out one by one. And I'm going to first add just a little bit of Loctite on the end. This is blue Loctite, um, Loctite 243. A little bit, a little bit on the end there, and then put it in. So first, I'm going to uh, go around and do that with all the screws. Um, I haven't tightened it completely yet. I've just um, tightened it loosely. Um, I will lock tight the the rest of them, and then I will go across and tighten them correctly. Okay, so. Let me do that and I'll be back. Okay, so now I've applied Loctite to all four screws and I'm going to tighten them down. So, not too tight, just firm. I guess maybe one eighth of a turn once the screw makes contact with the cap. And last one. Okay, nice and tight. All right, so um, the screws on this side do not need to be Loctited um, because they already have it and they're still, they're still quite tight. So I, I don't need to do that. So now let's fill it with oil. Um, I will take the gear off and then once again, um, spare you the boredom of <laughs> watching me take out the screws. And then we'll come back and talk about the oil. Okay, so now we have the gear off. We've exposed the inner gears and we are going to fill it up. So um, I'm going to put some oil until maybe halfway up the gear, if that makes sense, like this maybe. Then I'm going to put this gear on top and check the level and then uh, make sure it's not too full. Like uh, I like to just have a little, a little space, not too full. Yeah. Okay. So let's get the one million weight. So this is kind of a pain to work with because it's so thick. But I will pour this in and then wait for it to settle. So once again, let me spare you the boredom. Okay, so finally um, the oil has um, flowed into all the, the gaps here. Um, also make sure you get some oil down here. Let me show you. Down here behind the gear. Um, it'll help the um, lubricate this area and keep the pins stuck to the wall. Um, once once you um, fill this up and then disassemble it, you'll see these pins are quite good at staying in place, even if the gears are not there. Um, the oil helps them stick, so that's quite good. Right, so as you can see, the level of the oil is just under the top of the gear there. So I will get the large spider gear off, drop that on, push it down, there we go. So I'm not too fussed about having a little air in there. I mean, I'm not racing or anything, I'm just bashing. So it's fine, I think, just like that. Right, so I think that's ready to assemble. 
Okay, so let's put this back together. Just make sure the surface is clean around here. Actually, you could even put a little bit of oil across that, it wouldn't matter. Some guys in racing do that. Yeah, all right, so let's assemble. Here we go. All right, and then I'll put in these larger screws just because of this gear. Okay. So I'm planning to go tomorrow to test this as well as the CBDs again, just to check everything's okay. Right, there we go. Okay. Tighten it up completely. Go around one more time just to check. Not too tight. and smooth okay so that completes the assembly of the Draco diff case 2023 uh, and again this is the center diff so just a little different you would follow the same procedure with the front or rear gear just with slightly different screws and so on and uh, yeah once again shim uh, shim the the diff um, before you fill with oil. Once you're done, come back, fill with oil, and you're ready to go. All right, so thank you very much for watching. Um, there are, as of this video, there are still 51 Draco diff cases available, so if you're interested, please go ahead and order through my website. The link is in the description below. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. If you're interested in bringing back the Draco Center Diff set, also let me know. Um, I'm keen to do it. I just want to know how many people are interested. Yeah, um, thank you very much again, and see you in the next video.